What's up everyone? Welcome to your um, sixth, I believe, After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to animate um, opacity or transparency and also how to change the size of objects on an animation. So before I go over that, I just want to teach you guys a nifty little trick real quick. Before when we were editing keyframes, we had to click on a keyframe like this or we had to move the current time indicator and that's how we edited the keyframe but I didn't tell you guys about this right here what this little nifty little box does is automatically go to the next keyframe so whenever you're working with keyframes that are very close to each other instead of trying to click it then move a little bit then click it a little bit more uh, you can just go ahead and move these little arrows and it'll automatically go to the next keyframe and whenever this little um box is yellow then it means you're on a keyframe but whenever it's gray like this it means you're off a keyframe so that's how you know when you're on and off keyframes another thing that you can do that's even easier than clicking these arrows is pressing J and K on your keyboard when you press K it automatically hops to the next keyframe and J automatically hops back again that's J K just kidding that's how you can remember it so now that we learned how to navigate between our keyframes, I wanted to go over something fun. And that is um, how to make things fade in and out with After Effects. Now when we clicked, when we wanted to edit the position of our animation, we uh, highlighted our object in the composition panel and we pressed P. Well the shortcut for transparency is T. So go ahead and press T, and as you can see, your little thing that used to say position, now change to opacity. Again, uh, they didn't name it, never mind, I was just going to confuse you. I was going to say that even though you press T, it was opacity, that's because the O, they're already using that for something else. So remember, T is transparency. Don't press O for opacity, since it won't work. So go ahead and press T, and move your current time indicator to the beginning of your animation and remember don't forget to do this it's very important make sure you click this little stopwatch this little stopwatch will make sure that you can make keyframes if you don't have a click and you try to make keyframes it won't work so make sure that there's a box around the stopwatch the first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, make sure you're at home and make sure you're on your first keyframe that's automatically created now this little thing right here shows how opaque your object is. Zero being nothing at all and a hundred being completely solid. So since I want to fade this from nothing to something, I'm going to go to my first keyframe and I'm going to put zero. And this is going to make, as you can see, my object disappeared. This is because my object is totally transparent so all you can see is the background now to make your next keyframe go and go to about three seconds on your timeline and you wanna make another keyframe just by clicking on this and changing the value of it to something so I'm gonna change mine to 100 since I want it to fade in and as you can see when you move our current time indicator Sammy the Sausage is now totally uh, transparent and he gradually fades in and as you, if you can look on uh, here, you can see it gets gradually from 100 to 73 all the way down to zero. So let's watch Sammy in action as he fades in slowly. So again, to recap one last time, go to the beginning, change it to zero. Go to your next keyframe, change it to 100. And that is how you make objects fade in and out in After Effects. So another thing I wanted to cover real quick is, um, as you can see, this little, um, here, let me get on that keyframe. When you hover over this, you can change values in two ways. A, as we did before, you can just click it and manually change values like 80, 100. But another thing that you can do is as you can see the little pointer pointer uh, cursor or whatever 
has two arrows on it. If you want, you can go ahead and click and drag the arrows to left or right. As you can see, once your uh, pointer has two little arrows on it, looks like there's arrows sticking through the finger actually, you can click and drag and this will automatically change your value. So if you want to fine tune it, this is a quick easy way and you don't have to type it in manually. And this is called scrubbing, I don't know if you need to know that or not, but it's called scrubbing your values. When you click it and change the value of it, you can uh, either type it in or scrub your value. So I actually am going to cover scale, make things shrink and grow in my next tutorial. So make sure you learn how to um, make things fade in and out. And make sure that you're using these keyframe shortcuts. And make sure that you know how to scrub your values. And once you learn all that, you can move on to my next tutorial where I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make things shrink and grow in After Effects. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.